What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a high fade on my guys, so stay tuned. We're starting off by making sure everything's nice and even on top with our 5 guard all the way open. Now that we're done debulking the top, we can move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline. My gold effects are the only trimmers I use to ball out. Don't be afraid to move the ear out of the way to stretch the skin when balding out. Now that we're done balling them out with our gold FX, we can then move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You usually want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blade. Now that we're done setting in our second guideline, we could then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on Instagram. Now that we're done blending out our initial guideline, we could then move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its same lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Since we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're going to use this same guard to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Since we're done using the two guards to soften up our line, we're going to move on to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Remember to use your corners and the lever.
Moving on to our three guard all the way open, we're gonna go above the two guard all the way open that we used. Also, this is gonna help us blend into the top bulk on top. I'm switching back to my one and a half guard just to detail between the guidelines. Sometimes after using your one and a half guard, there's still a fake line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open would definitely help. Now we're going to move on to our clip over comb method and this is just to make sure that the fade can flow better. Here I'm using my foreguard all the way open and this is just so we can connect it to the top bolt. Now that we're done detailing the sides, we can move on to the back and use our no guard all the way open. Neither of some of the bone, we want to make sure we detail as much as possible just to make sure that the fade is nice and even. Don't be afraid to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more space to blend. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see here, I'm switching over to my half guard and it's going to help us erase this line completely. Now using my tool guard all the way open, we're going to create our fourth guideline and we're also using our comb to feed the hair into the clipper.
As you guys can see, now we're switching over to our one and a half guard and this is gonna help us soften up this line and most likely remove it. Now I'm using a 3 guard all the way open and this is going to help us connect to the 5 guard on top. Remember to use your comb to feed the hair into the clipper when needed. Now that we're done with the sides and back, we can move on to his gold tee and we're going to use our gold FX to make him as crispy as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on Instagram. Moving on to the front line, I'm going to start off at the middle, work my way to the sides and I'm going to make sure I go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Always remember, you want to keep the vertical bars as natural as possible. The, pe the clients really pay attention to this. Now that we're done lining them up, we can move on to our Trekkers Razor and Derber Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. When you're using your razor, you always want to keep it at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid-fade on my boy, so stay tuned. Once we were done saturating the hair and combing everything in place, we grabbed our gold FX and created our first guideline. You always want to make sure you contour this guideline to the client's head shape. This is so that the fade can flow better and also it's more unique to their head. Don't be afraid to use your opposite hands to stretch the skin to give you more space to either bald out or blend.
We're gonna use some safe sticks where it lowers the likelihood of him bumping up. Now that we're done applying shave stick, we can then move on to our foil shavers and flick out as much as possible. You always want to stay around a centimeter away from your first guideline so it make it easier to blend. Now that we're done butting them out, we can then move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in that guideline, we could then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on Instagram. Also, if you want to show some extra, extra support, you can go ahead and leave a super thanks down below. Now that we're done softening up the line with our one guard and its lever, we can then move on to our half guard and try to erase the line completely. Now that we're done with the lower guards, we can move on to our tool guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're also going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Here I'm using a three guard just to debulk the parietal ridge. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we're moving on to our one and a half guard and we're going to attempt to erase this line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using your one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using his corners would definitely help. Now that we're done with the sides, we can move on to the back, and I'm going to start off with our no guard all the way open, creating our second guideline. Remember, we're going to use this lever halfway and all the way close to help us embrace this initial guideline. Now moving on to our one guard all the way open, we're going to create our third guideline and this guideline is going to help us blend into our no guard all the way open and also our half guard. As you guys can see here, I'm switching over to my half guard after I'm done using the one guard to soften up the line as much as possible. And here, I'm just going to most likely take it out completely.
Now that we're done with the lower guards, we're moving on to our two guard all the way open, and this is going to help us create our fourth guideline. We're also going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line, especially because it's right on top of the silver bone. Now that we're done softening up this line, we're using our one and a half guard to help us remove it completely. Now moving on to our 3 guard all the way open, we're going to flick out as much as possible and use our cone to feed the hair into the clipper. Moving on to our clipper of a comb method, I'm going to use my horizontal cuts to deep bulk as much as possible. When I use my vertical cuts, as you can tell, I'm blending. Now that we're done with the back and sides, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and begin to blend the sideburns. Now I'm using my one guard all the way open to help us blend into the beard. Especially going with the grain is going to help. Now that we're done blending the sideburns, we're going to use our guard FX to make the beard as crispy as possible. We're going to start off at the bottom right side. When lining up the mustache, you want to be as gentle as possible because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. Before we start lining him up, we're going to make sure that we comb all the baby hairs down and make sure everything's nice and even. Now that we're done combing out all the baby hairs, we can move on to our guard FX and start off at the middle, working our way to the sides. You also want to go as slow as possible and make sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't line them up properly. Moving on to the other side, we're going to try to stay as consistent as possible and go slow enough that we vote and make sure that everything's nice and neat. Now that we're done with the front line, we're going to go ahead and move on to the top.
Now that everything is laid down and neat, we can move on to our shear work and create our first guideline and can stay consistent as possible with this guideline throughout the canvas of the head. Some cuts you're going to make with your shears need to be diagonal or add a certain shape and curved texture so make sure you are paying attention to that. You always want to match the curvature of their head, especially when you're using your shears. As you can see here, we're going to use our shear work to make sure the overhang blends into the side of the hair perfectly. Now that we're done using our shears, we're gonna move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we use our razor, we're gonna apply some shave sales so our razor could glide better. Now that we're done using shave gel, we can then apply our hot towel. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on Instagram. Also, if you want to show some extra, extra support, you can go ahead and leave a super thanks down below. When using your razor, you always want to stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand, and most likely keep it at a 45 degree angle when you're using your razor. 